Everyone's testing GPT Atlas right now, the AI browser that can supposedly browse for you. I checked it, it's fine, helpful even, but here's the thing, it still needs you. Give it a task, gives you results, you take action. Multiple approve, so you can do it manually faster. While everyone was busy with Atlas, I stumbled onto something that made me rethink what a browser can actually do. It's called Flow with OS, and no, it's, this isn't just another AI browser with a chatbot slapped on the side. Today, I'm walking you through what makes Flow with OS different, showing you two live demos and breaking down why this might be the first real leap from tools to autonomous agents. Let's get into it. I'm talking about full self-driving for the web. The gap is obvious. Browsers are smart but passive. Agents are autonomous but isolated. Nobody's bridged it. Nobody's built a space where AI agents can truly live, think, and act alongside you in the real world until Flow with OS. So what is Flow with OS? It's not a browser, it's not a chatbot. It's what they call an agentic OS an operating system built for AI agents to actually work, not just assist. Here's what that means. Instead of flaring AI features onto Chrome or Edge, Flow with OS creates an entire environment where agents live. They can browse, reason, decide, and execute, all without constant hand-holding from you. Flow with OS runs multiple tasks on time, on repeat, it breaks free from the limits of traditional AI browsers that could only handle one-off passive tasks. Built upon Flow with core tools, you can test on the Flow with audio context playground, idea inspiration, knowledge garden, insight archive, and Neo infinite agent. Flow with OS completes the ecosystem, creating a seamless loop from inspiration to value creation. Unlike AI browsers stuck in passive assistance and agent platforms trapped in isolated creation, Flow with OS unites both worlds, letting agents think, act, and deliver seamlessly online. It frees creators and knowledge workers to focus on high value ideas and decisions while Flow with OS handles the rest. One prompt becomes a full cycle operation. You say, find me three birthday gift ideas for a designer friend, budget on $100 and add the best in the cart. The agent searches, compares, evaluates and adds to cart. You approve, it buys. Or analyze Elon Musk's last 20 tweets, find what's getting engagement and draft a thread on that topic. It reads history. Identify patterns, writes the thread, schedules it. That's not automation, that's autonomy. This is the difference. Chrome lets you browse, ChatGPT helps you think, Zapier connects apps, Flow with OS does all three, and executes the whole workflow without you. All right, let's see it in action. First demo, collecting user feedback from social media on autopilot. Here's the setup. OpenAI just launched Atlas, their AI browser. I want to understand how real users are reacting, what they love, what's broken, what features they're asking for. Normally, this would take hours. Hours. You'd scroll through Reddit threads, manually copy paste comments, lose track of which posts you've covered and end up with a messy spreadsheet. So I open Flow with OS and give it this prompt. Search for OpenAI Atlas on Reddit, collect replies to posts from the past week, randomly sample 100 comments and return the data in JSON format in a separate file named comment research Watch what happens. First, the agent opens Reddit, searches for OpenAI Atlas, starts scanning through posts from the last seven days. It's browsing like you would, scrolling, clicking into threads, reading comment chains, and I can see it navigating between posts, expanding collapsed comment threads, extracting text. The agent works methodically. It visits a thread about Atlas failing to complete a task, grabs a few comments, move to another thread, grabs more, then a bug report thread, then a feature request discussion. It's cross reference in multiple conversations, not just scraping one post. Within six minutes, the agent has visited dozens of threads, read hundreds of comments, randomly selected a hundred that match the criteria, and structured them into clean JSON format. Then it exports the file. I open comment research. The data is perfectly formatted. Each comment includes the text, username, timestamp, upvotes, and the parent post title. Even includes Reddit thread URLs for each source. I didn't scroll through a single thread. I didn't copy paste anything. I didn't manually tag or organize data. The agent did the entire research workflow while I watched. Then I follow up with another prompt. Give me an analysis of the research results, especially common sentiment labels. The agent reads through the JSON file it just created, categorizes comments by sentiment, positive, negative, neutral, feature request, bug report, and generates a summary. Positive feedback on AI features integration, negative sentiment about data, privacy, and security, and neutral feedback about comparing with other 
other browsers. This is the difference. Normally, user research is a manual grind. Open dozens of tabs, copy comments into a doc, spend an hour organizing and tagging. Here, one prompt, six minutes. Structured output, ready for analysis. That's when it clicked for me. This isn't just a smarter browser, it's an autonomous research assistant that actually completes the task. Demo two, shopping. Specifically, gift hunting, task I hate because it takes forever. Prompt, I need three birthday gift ideas for a 28-year-old product designer, budget $300 per gift. Find items on Amazon, compare reviews, and add the best options to my cart. The agent opens Amazon, types gifts for designers. Starts browsing results, but here's where it gets interesting. It's not just grabbing the first three products, it's reading descriptions, checking reviews, comparing prices across listings. I can see it clicking into product pages, scrolling down to check ratings. Candidate one, Wacom graphic tablet, $249.95. Candidate two, Lita Art Supply, large sketchbook, $22.49, 4.17 stars. And candidate three, the non-designer's design book, $28.92, 4.8 stars. It filters out low rated items, prioritizes products with reviewer photos, check if the designer aesthetic matches. Then it shortlists three options, all under $300, all highly rated, all aesthetically cohesive. It adds them to my cart. Doesn't purchase yet, waits for my approval. I review, I like the picks, I approve. It completes checkout. Total time, four minutes. If I'd done this manually, probably 30 minutes of scrolling, tab switching, and second guessing. This is the autonomy piece. The agent isn't giving me a list of lengths to click, it's shopping with me. It's evaluating quality, cross-checking reviews, filtering noise, and it only loops me in for the final call. That's the shift. From AI helps me work to AI works, I decide. So why does Flow with OS pull this off when others don't? Three reasons, intelligence, autonomy, and ecosystem. First, intelligence. Under the hood, Flow with OS uses a custom browser agent framework that combines code level reasoning with visual comprehension. That means it doesn't just see HTML tags, it understands what's on the screen visually like you do. In benchmarks, it beats GPT Atlas, Google Gemini, OpenAI's models, and every other AI browser on task completion rates. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's state of the art right now. Second, autonomy. Most AI tools need constant supervision. ChatGPT waits for your next prompt. Zapier needs you to build the workflow. Flow with OS runs end-to-end -end workflows autonomously. One prompt, full execution. You can schedule tasks to run while you're asleep, daily competitor analysis, content posting, report generation. It handles the grind. Here's a concrete example. I tested three AI browsers with the same task, generate a video and upload it to YouTube. Comet forgot to press enter and got stuck at a blank canvas. Atlas executed the task but couldn't find the upload button. It looped endlessly, trying the same failed approach. Flow with OS? It uploaded the video to YouTube and even filled out all the metadata automatically. That's the difference between assistance and autonomy. Third, ecosystem. This is the big one. Flow with OS isn't just a browser with AI bolted on. It's a unified environment where planning and execution work together. Built upon Flow with core tools, the context playground and knowledge garden features you can test in Flow with IO. Here you generate ideas, organize information, and plan workflows. In version 140, you access context playground through the third command in the dialog, ask in Canvas. Then Flow with OS takes that plan and executes it in the real browser, clicking, navigating, extracting data, completing tasks. It's a loop. You think on the canvas, the agent acts on the web. That's why it works as a system. Chrome is great for browsing, ChatGPT is great for thinking, Zapier is great for connecting, but they're siloed. Flow with OS integrates planning and execution into one workspace where agents can actually operate. All right, verdict time. Is Flow with OS perfect? No, it's new, it's early. And yeah, sometimes the agent takes a weird path or needs a second try, but is that a leap forward? Absolutely. This is the first tool I've used that actually feels like the age of co-agency they keep talking about. Not AI that assists, AI that acts. If you are a creator drowning in content tools, marketer buried in research, or just someone who's tired of doing repetitive browser work, this is worth trying. You can download Flow with OS at try.flowwith.io. Links in the description. I'll keep testing it and report back. If you've tried it or have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if this was useful, subscribe. We're covering every major AI tool as it drops. By the way, we're giving away 30 Flow with invite codes exclusively inside AI Master Pro. Each code gives you bonus credits plus five extra invites to share with friends when you sign up. If you're already an AI Master Pro member, don't miss your shot. 
And if you're not yet, definitely check out AI Master Pro at the link in the description. There's a ton of good stuff waiting for you. That's it. See you in the next one.